We are the Gabby's gang. Love to talk all day. Don't know what we are saying on the League of Ridiculous Conversation. So, Steph, your yep. only reference to Sigourney Weaver was holes. My first <laughs> reaction was holes. So I was looking at the her, woman. and I was just like, she's in something. I think she's an alien, but she's also in Holes, because she's lipstick, whatever her you name is. You knew Holes for certain. <laughs> I mean, the woman has multiple Golden Globes, Emmys, a few Oscar nominations. The woman is a god among people. And your first, it made me laugh so hard laying in bed this morning <laughs> because you were like, is that the woman from Holes? Like there was no. Is she in a Julia oh, Roberts that... movie too? No, that's Julia Roberts. Damn. No, she's with Julia Roberts. I thought she was. I don't, not that I know Are of. you thinking of um, Working Girl? Because that's Melanie Griffith. <laughs> Just so, if, if if anyone is listening, just so you all know. It's literally working, girl. <laughs> we, uh, Steph put a picture of a beaver oh, with no, Sigourney that, Weaver's face. Me. Someone else that did. Was that was Leland. Oh, yeah. was it you? Yeah. Okay. Sigourney Weaver the so, beaver. It was so centralized around, it was so centralized around Steph. Leland, in our group chat, put in a, a photo of a beaver with Sigourney Weaver's face on it. And Steph Dusley said, is that the, the woman from Holes? Um, I didn't watch Ghostbusters to know that she was in there. You've never seen Ghostbusters? Uh, is she in the original? She's in all of them. She's in both of them. <laughs> Leland's leaving. She's, Leland quit. Oh. Leland just quit. You the know, podcast. I've never watched it beginning to end. I only know they're they're in like a library, and then they have that like box she's thing, like, like the the ghost trapper or whatever that thing's called. She she's like the fifth main character. Yeah. Oh. Like she she's integral to the story. Fifth? Right next to Rick Moranis. Yeah, after the four Ghostbusters. Mm, I'll give her the fourth spot. Ernie Hudson's definitely the fifth member of the Ghostbusters. Poor Ernie. <laughs> Uh, it's it's true, shit. though. <laughs> Out of everybody in that movie life. at that time, she's the only one with an Oscar nomination under her belt. <laughs> uh, isn't she still? No. Bill Murray's been nominated a few times. Has, Has he? Yeah. He didn't win, but he's been nominated. Huh. Huh. For that terrible that's movie where he's in Japan with Scarlett Johansson. Oh, Lost oh, in that's Translation. Right. Lost in Translation. Yeah. I've never seen that movie. I've never You're seen not that missing either. much it. at all. But it's Scarlett Johansson. <laughs> I still didn't watch her. Haven't watched that either. You know what? I haven't watched her. Her is interesting. I like it, but I don't ever need to see it again. Yeah. Like it was one of those ones when you're done, you're like, ah, yes, that was acceptable. And I liked that. I'm good. Thank you. I, I, I kind of wish I could make my Echo Dots just have Scarlett Johansson's voice. I'm surprised, like, maybe, maybe the timing wasn't right where that was really a thing yet, that, that you could capitalize, but that it didn't happen. Yeah. Maybe on, like, the 10-year anniversary or something. <laughs> well, who when, would, they, when they do her, too. Well, what voice would you want to have? Like, Scarlett Johansson. Scarlett Johansson. That, that, that's yeah. it. Like, no one else. No other celebrity. You're just like, nope. That's the well. One. I mean, ten year anniversary of that movie. Yeah. No. Hers. I'm, I'm, fuck that movie. I'm asking Are you, you just today. Asking me yes. <laughs> all right. All right. Um, Chris Hemsworth. Solid decision. That yeah. Yeah. He's he's a fantastic balance of like that Aussie, but still completely understandable. Yeah. <laughs> I would want a like, very... it's not too heavy of an accent. I, I would want uh, the, the Scottish Twitter version of Merida from uh, Brave. Oh, God. <laughs> that would be terrible. Just full Scott. Yeah, full Scott. <laughs> Steph will want Tupac so we can move on from that. Like, Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good morning, Steph. Do you feel me? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Good night, baby girl. 
I would tell him to <laughs> shut up. I don't think I would sleep, honestly. No, no Steph, Steph would want uh, Idris Elba. I like how he talks. That'd yeah. be solid. I don't know. I think Chris Hemsworth is pretty voice. good. Yeah, my, before you said that, my first pick was Patrick Stewart, but now I'm rethinking. Mm. <laughs> nah. Patrick Stewart again? I'm really bad with names and faces. Captain Picard? Professor X. Professor, Professor X. X. <laughs> Old Professor X. Yes. Oh. Okay. Okay. I know him from something else. Uh, I'm just I can't think of. He wasn't in what, Ghostbusters. What? Okay, no, no. What What is Hold the on. other thing you know him from? What's his name? Patrick Stewart. Is, is it the Green yes. Room? Oh God! Ooh, wow. Uh, That'd be a weird. No, I don't pull. think I've right. seen the Green Room. I, I haven't either, but <laughs> it's good. I don't. It's good. I don't That's want right to. <laughs> nothing against it. You don't see... I just don't want to see Grandpa Stewart be a racist fuck. I just I can't. <laughs> <laughs> And it's a little, honestly, like I, I watched Green Room, I think late last year, maybe, maybe very beginning of this year. So like some, some years removed from the death of Anton Yelchin and yeah. still to watch him knowing like this was your last film, I'm pretty sure something about it just like, it felt real sad. Mm, yeah. yeah that, that, just that makes what sense. a loss of, of talent. Yeah. yeah. That kid was good. Uh, what well, what's yeah. the over under on Steph mistaking Patrick Stewart for Ian McKellen in something? Ooh ooh, you know what they they stand in the photo in the same photo a lot. Uh, I'm gonna give you. I'm uh, three to one odds. Because I mean she's been quiet for a while now. Uh, no, I, I think it's just Star Trek. I think I've only seen him in Star Trek. But I never watched Star Trek. I mean, it was just he hasn't done face. a lot outside of Star Trek. What? Yeah. yeah. I'm looking. What else has he done, Leland? What other high profile things that has hit the mainstream has Patrick Stewart done? Well, you already named them. Green Room? <laughs> Star Trek, X Men, and Green Room. It's three things. I'm just saying, the man's been around for a while. He's, you know. He's been around, but he's only done three, really. <laughs> Two major things in that that uh, made impact in the, in the larger. Okay, pop culture sure. Community. He may have done only two things, but they are twenty five to thirty years worth of two things, though. So it's not like he just did Absolutely. those two one things. It was like He's <laughs> done. no, no. You're right. But if Steph doesn't watch either one of those, then there is nothing else for her. It's true. I don't know. He's not Steph spreading could shock his seed Steph, all over. Steph could shock me. She'd be like, oh, he's the gay guy from Jeffrey, you know, or something random like that. <laughs> well, I mean, I saw you that know. he was what in was Excalibur, show? and I used to have that DVD, but I don't remember him in there. Uh, it's the original Excalibur from 1970. Yeah, the really, really so. old one. But you haven't seen fucking Doom? Ghostbusters. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't have. We didn't have Ghostbusters at the house. She, she can recite the plot. Had Ghostbusters. Had Excalibur. She can recite the plot to every best of the best movie, but she's never <laughs> seen Ghostbusters. Yeah, you know. made me. Throw what about Dune? My have you seen Dune? No, I've never seen Dune either. Girl, okay. you're good. Just okay. wait for the remake. <laughs> I am wait, into whatever's Dune, going on. There. Wasn't Dune remade with um, The Rock? Isn't that Dune? No, 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 that's Doom. No, that's Doom. Doom. We're saying oh, Dune. Okay. Like a sand Dune. Oh, okay. Isn't that a, a, a video game? D- D- no. Doom is a video game. Dune is a book. Oh, okay. Is it, so it's a book. They, yeah. sound, they sound almost exactly okay. like... Then okay. I hear one, it, one is a movie about but... demons. <laughs> what? Wait, one is a... One is about demons, which is Doom. We, yes, that's and then Doom. There's Doom. That's the game I was the streaming one, about the earlier this year. And hills. Yes, with the worms. In space. No, yeah. the one with the worms yes. isn't that... Yes. Um, no, you're thinking Tremors, Tremors now. You're, you, you guys are confusing her. <laughs> <laughs> now you got your worms confused. Yes. <laughs> there's the Tremors on Earth, and then there's the sandworms, but not the Beetlejuice sandworms. There are the, 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 the worms that make the spice happen. They make the spice in flow. Dune. <laughs> Steph, Steph, I want you to do something for me. When you get the chance, all right, go on to uh, uh, your TV or wherever you have VRV because you have my account oh, on yeah. it and watch Kaguya-sama, uh, Love is War. Because in that anime, there's a character named Chika Fujiwara, and that is you. You are an 
agent of chaos. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> and you're, and she's the most lovable character, just like Thanks. you. Thanks. Are you kidding? I love Steph this morning so hard when she said, is she the girl from Holes? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Steph is an agent of chaos, but you can't help but love her for it. <laughs> so I just posted a picture of this character that you remind me of, Steph. I like, thank you. I like how she put the bow right fucking here just to be obnoxious. <laughs> and, uh, Yes, right in the middle of her forehead, yes. Yeah, not even on the top, not even to the side. It's just, like, right fucking there. Is this Asian Wednesday Adams? <laughs> I'm, you know what? I didn't think that because that is such a basic, like, anime outfit mm. that it didn't even register as Wednesday Adams to me. That's, yeah, that, that, um, that, that's just their school's uniform. <laughs> Yeah, oh, like okay. she looked real. She looked real basic anime character to me. Oh, Have but she's not. Have you guys seen that that Adams Family movie yet? Oh, the new oh, one, the, new yeah. one? the animated one. Yeah, no, it's uh, actually no. pretty good. Is it? Is it? Well, good. Be, I found it to be very entertaining. Let's put yeah. it that way. That's enough. Entertaining you know, like, is good. That's um, all you need. Yeah. Wednesday Adams has some real good one-liners in there that made me laugh out loud. So, who who played Wednesday Adams? Uh, Chloe Moretz. Oh, okay. wow. All right. Yeah, it's an odd choice, but she does some stuff with it. Yeah. Oh, no, I don't think so. I think that's a pretty solid solid casting. Why am I um, blanking on who that is? Chloe Moretz. Hit Girl. Hit Girl. Oh, I like her. <laughs> the one, the cast, that the, the wild card for me was, um, well, the two was Nick Kroll as Fester and... Um, Oh. Finn Wolfhard as Pugsley. They didn't really work, but the rest of the cast mm. did pretty solid, I thought. I feel like Pugsley doesn't need to talk very much. Yeah. Oh, he gets a whole arc in this fucking Who's, thing. Is Pugsley okay. that little, like, ball the, thing? The, the little brother. Like Trimble? Oh. Trimble? Except Are you thinking Cousin Trimble? It? <laughs> Are you thinking Cousin It, the little furry thing? Oh, I know what the furry thing is, but isn't there, like, little fuzzies that kind of look... Uh, is that what they're called? Tribbles from Star Wars? Those little whatever fuzzies? Trek. Things? Star Trek. Tribbles? Okay, oh, she's Trek? thinking Tribbles, Tribbles from Star Trek. There you go. We're talking Adam's Family. Two things that happened in the 60s. Okay. <laughs> there's a lot There's a lot of, like, forced Venn diagram going on here that, that Steph's trying to put together. Yeah. Tribbles from Star Trek, not Star Wars. Uh, uh, and I guess you mean cousin it because that's the closest thing to a triple that version exists in of Adam's him? family. It's just it. There is cousin it well, in the is... second movie. Yeah, no, at the end of the first movie. Is it the end of the first movie or is it the second movie? Where is the end, the end of the second movie? Uh, end of the second movie, there are or baby the first, It doesn't matter. That's, yeah, there's okay, a baby cousin. Okay, I think that's what I remember, but I never watched it completely. somewhere it in that five-foot mound of hair is a dick that fucked a woman. Don't say that. We say that too much. <laughs> is a Ramon, it's a swong? Not, it's not, it's say, not uh, no swear September yet. I'm going to get all Penis. my fucking dicks and fucks out. <laughs> um, y- so, yeah, it's know, at the end of the first, first three three movie, Anthony, you them. are correct. Oh, yeah, okay. First, okay. But in the That's new one, he is small as a, oh. as a sight gag. And huh. he's played by Snoop Dogg. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait. But, like, Cousin mm-hmm. has no lines. I guess now he does. Oh, he's got lines, but he doesn't talk. He talks like he does, but it's Snoop Dogg. Can you, like, okay. give an example? No, I cannot do an imitation of Snoop Dogg. <laughs> but I'm just Can't... telling you, it's it's like Snoop Dogg talking, but slowed down in high-pitched beeps. You know, like... So it's Snoop Dogg just doing... Hizzle, bizzle, 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 bizzle. Yes, think more like that if I remember right. Yeah. So he's that he's not awesome. he's he's not saying words is what you mean. No. Yeah. Okay. That's it's a it's, weird casting choice. Like not casting choice. It's a weird choice to hire a named celebrity for a nearly non-speaking role. Well, well that's my problem fruit. with. Well, that's my <laughs> problem. Taking with the a food lot of off these... of Frank Walker's fucking plate. <laughs> Yeah, because Frank's starving. Um, <laughs> like it, it's it's part of the problem I have with most of modern animated films, like Adam's Family or Scoob, for example, or stuff yeah. like that. That they force this hip hop narrative in there when you're kind of like, yeah, that was hip in the '90s, 
I don't know if the kids are still into um, that as as like like how many times did we have to hear who lets the dogs out in animated features for about 10 years there way past the prime of that song sure but that's pretty normal i think i know i'm just saying but it's like it's just old white executives making decisions without like touching base with the demographic is my sure point. so you're you're not you're not you're not actually talking about narratives you're talking about like aged um, like sound drops and references. Yeah, but it's like, but you, it's like, it feels like some executive somewhere was just like, you know what the kids like? Mm. The Rap. kids love Simon Cowell. Yeah, it, it's it's <laughs> it's stuff like that where you're like, you don't know who is this for? You no. know, that's all. No. I, I mean, I'm nothing. I I'm not I'm not like saying we take them to town for this. I'm just saying it's just it's a slightly annoyance occasionally. <laughs> So, so I should like I get really drunk about, and watch but... Scoob? What's that? Steph, you go first. Oh, no. Um, with, with what Leland was saying, like, I understand that in, in some sense, but not necessarily with, like, people, like, hype people being included in these things. It's like, I know, like, uh, what's that movie with uh, John Cena and he's supposed to be, like, the dad and has his... Cock blockers. Yeah. Yeah. I thought that was Sorry, such blockers. A, yes. I thought that was such a try hard movie. Yes. It is. Like it was yeah, almost it totally cringy because it was just like, hey, this is what's in, this is what people like. They really like people getting over like uh like overly injured I, yeah. somehow. Like let's just totally it, have this. I feel that movie injured. was dated before production finished. Yeah. 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 I was watching that for yeah. I, I watched the screening of that, and I was just like, I don't know who this is for, but boomers. They're trying so fucking yeah, hard for sure, so hard. It's it, it's a boomer comedy. Like that's a movie my parents would love to watch. <laughs> like a, a generation that is still so hung up on sex that like yeah. the fear that they're like. 16, 17, 18 They're, they're like, high school someone age. going off to college. That's what it was, right? They're all going yeah. to college think, or something? Yeah, they're yeah. going to college. Like, they wanted to that just they may get have their sex. hookup before graduating was the goal. And it's, yeah, the it's to-do one list thing, are in Aubrey Plaza. <laughs> it's one thing to be concerned about teenage pregnancy. Like, that's, that's a real concern. But each one of those kids seemed like a very reasonable, you know, teenage human being. Who like would take all the proper precautions to like not have anything? So the concern is just simply them having sex, consensual, yep. agreed, responsible sex, and that I could not get over for the entire movie. <laughs> Especially of, from John Cena. Speaking of Aubrey Plaza, have any of you guys ever heard of or seen a movie called Ingrid Goes West? That's yes. on my list. I, I really want to watch it, but I haven't gotten around to it yet. Okay, um, I haven't. Did, overall, I keep thinking that's the one where she's a zombie, but mm, it's not. No, it's not. No. It has a, a, Elizabeth a, Olsen, right? Yeah. Elizabeth Olsen. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, she, becomes, she, she becomes a stalker. Yeah. yeah. And Ice yeah. Cube's son's in it. And it yeah, is, Ice Cube's really? son. Who's yeah, he was really good, too. He's that? really um, cute. I'm, I'm just uh, and also the, the the guy married to Elizabeth Thanks, Olsen in the movie, like I kept staring at the dude and I was like, this dude looks familiar. And he like gives a couple looks where I was like, I think that motherfucker's Kurt Russell. And then I flipped through his IMDb. It's Kurt Russell, Goldie Hawn's product. And he oh. looks so much like Kurt Russell with a beard from fucking, um, what's this, the, the, the Santa uh, Claus? No, the thing <laughs> like the Santa Claus. Yeah, that Santa Claus movie Kurt Russell did two years ago. Anyway, um, this was don't, the most... Don't un- knock it. That's actually a, a pretty decent Christmas movie. Oh, I've seen it, and I okay. watched part two when it comes out this year. <laughs> Are you kidding? This year it's about Mrs. Claus, and it's all about Goldie Hawn. Yeah, so, I'm for it. Um, it was the most uncomfortable movie I've watched in a while. Wait, Wyatt Russell? Ingrid Goes West? Yeah. Oh, Ingrid Goes West was uncomfortable. It's a... Uh, people, stocking movies make me uncomfortable. Not Fair. a big swim fan. Oh, God damn it! Swim fan to me is like the original, original. Like, it is. Stalker. Except it's not. It's not. I know. It's not. Fatal Attraction. 
<laughs> because which even that's not the original original. <laughs> so. Like when I watched Swim Fan, I was just like, dude, this girl's fucking crazy. Even in Leave It to Beaver, she was crazy. Fear. Huh? With Marky Mark. Leave It to Beaver with Eric Von Detten. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> If if Steph says Eric Roberts one more time on this podcast, I'm gonna fucking explode. Eric Von Detten, not Eric Roberts. I know, I know, but you just you have this weird connection to Eric Roberts that is just like so undeserved of Eric Roberts. Like you're so much better than that. <laughs> it's crazy that you keep bringing him up with such affection. Oh, it's Eric really Roberts. Weird, yeah, let me tell you. Eric oh, Roberts, star of a talking in, cat? He came up in um in national security and I was like, Eric Roberts, <laughs> my childhood. It's crazy. Again, but fucking be, I blame best of the best. This is it, why yeah, she's it's so 100% obsessed best of the best. With Eric yeah. Roberts. Yeah. It is, it is. It's hundred percent that fault. <laughs> All roads lead back to best of the best for Steph. They it's do. True. Uh, I love that Erica Christensen your connection to her. Was to straight up go, leave it to Beaver. <laughs> oh yeah, that girl, leave it to Beaver. I honestly forgot that that they made that movie. That too, but the fact that Swim Fan is leave you it to made Beaver. A connect right. <laughs> okay, but when you think leave it to Beaver, you don't think of the girl. <laughs> I do. <laughs> you think of the was, Beaver. Like so. there was so many parts Agent I remember because like I used to watch it on um I used to watch it on the it would always be on the Disney Channel. And then um, one time I bought the DVD, so then it actually, like, said parts that were inappropriate for the <gasps> Disney Channel. Like, damn and heck? No, because there's a part where it's like, yeah, we used to be really close. And he's like, the yeah, fucks? like, we used to take baths together. And I was just like, dude, you took baths together? You guys are in your middle school? Not even elementary? Or elementary, not even middle school. And you took baths with this... Super white gangster guy because he's got bandana and shit. Wait, wait, wait. Hang on. So you mean to tell oh, me you've sh- never had a bath with your brother when you were like one or two? I mean, I'm... Well, yeah, but I've never had a bath with a dude. Like, a dude as in, like, not family. Past the age of, like, two or three. Yeah. <laughs> That seems I like reasonable. Had, I like how you had to specify that part. Yeah, because I was just I'm, like, I'm, I don't. I'm I starting don't to turn that. on Jordan right now. Actually, like, when, when did you stop taking baths with family? No, no, no it was early on. Yes. Like, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. No, I'm, it's just Seth's reaction to it is so weird. It's just with a dude. <laughs> well, Anthony, I, Anthony, I, I, I don't a, know why. Anthony, I don't know why you're getting all bent out of shape. You and I have a yearly bath. Well, yeah, but that's different. We have a special relationship. Oh, okay. We're not like family. in a spa. I, I, yeah, I, I really wish I could go to a hot spa. spring in Japan. Remember that joke they do in Scrooged, where they turn and they're like, "Oh, leave it to Beaver," and the mom goes, "Well, where's Dad? Oh, you know him. He's out chasing Beaver." I've never. No. Watched da, 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 da. I've never. Let me guess, Scrooge. Steph. You've never seen Scrooged? No. Shocking. Wow. Rude. Have you have you, have you well, ever seems seen Bill Murray movie? movies tend to be your thing this yeah. evening that you've never seen Groundhog just, Day? No, I've never seen a, Groundhog Day. Bill Murray's her black hole. <laughs> I've never seen Groundhog Day. I've seen all the movies that are inspired by Groundhog Day, but never saw Groundhog Day. <laughs> so Happy Gilmore. So when people say, "Oh man, it's like Groundhog Day," you like you don't get it or at no, all. I'm sorry. Well, I, I get it the in the movie. reference of it. It keeps repeating and repeating, and it's yeah, an yeah. infinite loop. Yeah, yeah, Russian Anthony, dolls, have you seen, Palm Springs. Have you seen Happy Gilmore? Because that movie is not about repeating days. <laughs> no, no. Uh, I w- in my head, I was already trying to cue up Caddyshack. Got it. Also, uh, not it, uh, like a okay, but you're connecting Bill Murray to. Yeah, I was. Yeah. I was doing the okay. Bill Murray connection. So I got fucked it. up and crossed my wires. Got it. Got it. Got it. To be fair, I I was trying to, to also be find. Fair. I was trying to find Caddyshack. But what came in my head was Joy Luck Club, and that's not the same movie. Not even a little. No, not <laughs> only one of them has Chevy Chase doing cocaine off a woman's titties, and that's the Joy Luck Club. 
But Caddyshack has that teen abortion storyline everyone forgets about. Yeah, same with like Dirty Dancing. Yeah, but Dirty Dancing, it's way less of a of a thing. Mm-hmm. Like it is the B plot line of Caddyshack, and everyone true, forgets because but, but, true. But Bill Murray. Dirty Dancing also makes the reference that she may or may not have used a coat hanger. So like Fuck. you know, why cannot keep? I cannot keep a movie straight. I was thinking of Grease. Bill Murray no, is Caddyshack. in there. That's Bill. But Caddyshack also That's has a B Pat. plot of a teen pregnancy. Yes. Caddyshack too. has a large yeah. story about teen pregnancy. Uh, Grease has kind of a. Uh, 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 mention plot, maybe? of it. Yeah. I mean, it, it's it's mentioned in dialogue and thrown away. Um, and yeah. I, I've actually mm-hmm. never seen all of Dirty Dancing. Rizzo's PG. Pass it on. <laughs> you too pure for pink. Oh, ri- the the pink haired girl. Yeah. <laughs> the one that takes that up would, um, the you know that would be is. Frenchie. Oh, that's Frenchie. That is right. Who's who are we talking brush, about? Brush, brush. No, that's Jan. Is that Jan? <laughs> yes. All right. Listen, I'm upset that I know this much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I- that's why I'm staying quiet. <laughs> <laughs> also, I just remember that weird scene from Porky's where they where he they called that one girl Lassie. Never saw Porky's mm-hmm. either. You mean Kim Cattrall? <laughs> <laughs> I think Porky's is skippable. Well, it and, is. Uh, and there's no great it loss. Very much is. Case. It is. I will not disagree with you on that. It is very much skippable. But a young prepubescent Leland was very much obsessed with several scenes of that movie. <laughs> well, like when they're in the. This is. Let's just keep going. <laughs> it's a lot we'll just say of glory hole. It's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot of nudity in there. <laughs> that's why. Yeah, that's the first and, time I ever like, saw it. For its time. For its time, it's very seminal. Like it's a, a very kind of big movie, but we have done it like way more and way better since. Ah, Leland caught up. <laughs> Jordan has just been shaking his head since I said that. <laughs> and Steph is deep in thought, looking up Porky's. <laughs> no, I'm deep in thought, looking about um, what's the first Bill Murray movie I've ever known him in. Fuck. Yeah, that's 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 where we really now. What fell off. deep pool is this going to be? <laughs> oh God, it's not Rushmore. <laughs> yeah, because no. you haven't seen that movie. Yeah. It'd be amazing if Steph goes, "Oh, I've seen Stripes," and we just we're just done. <laughs> no, like, I've never seen point. Stripes either. <laughs> no, I know, but it would be very funny if you had. It would be it would be weird, but like one that did play on like TNT on television, because that is what so, kind Bob? of the key. What about that, Bob was probably played on that channel a lot? I would imagine. Hmm. <laughs> I, I, it definitely was, but I feel like I saw. You know what? I'm thinking of Comedy Central. Same thing. Wait, Seth, is the first Bill Murray movie you've seen Space Jam? It's, it's in between Space Jam or Larger Than Life with that big giant elephant. Because I think I saw that movie. I think. <laughs> you mean Operation Dumbo Drop? <laughs> no, Larger Than Life. I have seen the Operation other Dumbo elephant Drop. movie that year. Yeah, about a motivational speaker who discovers that the inheritance his father left him is the form of an elephant. Both those both those check out. Yeah, like the timing is right, like the what the 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 intended exposure, like they're they're shooting for a Steph kind of level of of audience. I would yeah. buy that <laughs> one of those would be the first Bill Murray thing that she'd seen. Or Osmosis Jones, because I uh, remember I was about he to ate, say Osmosis yeah, Jones. Yeah, because he ate the egg that was on the ground, and I was like, "Ill, you sicko!" It was oh, on the that's ground. Right? There is that... a live action aspect to that movie. Yep, and it's I Bill completely Murray. forgot. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it had to be one of those three. Because I know and who, then actually Steph doesn't I see anything Bosley, until Zombieland. But everything else is just kind of like. Did you see that that picture the other day? I'm moving on. No. Did you see that picture the other day of uh, Lamar dressed in the or not Lamar LeBron dressed as um, in the uh, Toon Squad outfit? Yep. Yes. I was like, okay. The what? That what is the an updated be? outfit. Yeah. I'll put, I have it. I don't like the jersey. Let me find. Do I have to look this up now? I mean, you can. I I, I, I don't like it, but that's just what me. specifically do you not like about it? It just seems, I don't know. I think it's the contrasting colors. Oh, I found it. 
Yeah. That, that just throws me off. It, was it? I well, what colors are? Is it orange? Right. It's, no, it's so blue. It's, uh, the, well, it's the blue orange, and orange. It's like the orange circles with with blue. Yeah. It's oh, like the okay. Porky Pig. It's that's like, all, folks. Kind of orange. Yeah. Right. Right. Dealy deal. Oh, all right. Yeah. Well, it's fine. It's going to introduce a whole new generation of kids to the Tune Squad, and they'll be like, "Why is it spelled T U N E?" I don't know. Why kids isn't it? Dumb. You they mean have no imagination? They have no imagination. Steph, do you okay? Hang on, Steph. Do you oh, know no. why? Do you know why yeah, it's called Looney, the Tune Squad? Yeah, because Looney Tunes, the Tune Squad. Spelled, Looney Tunes spelled how? T U N E S. No. Meh. No, that's 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 correct. Oh. Why are they changing it? Why that makes no sense though. It's always been that. No, it's been T O O N. No, Merry Melodies. Think about it. Oh, yeah. fuck me. It's been <laughs> tuned. <laughs> That's like the beer yeah. stain and the bear stain. Beer stain. No, same thing beer twice. One of those was always right. <laughs> one of those was always right, and the, the rest of the world was wrong. Um, Wait, are we talking the Bernstein Bears? Yeah, because it was either yeah, Bernstein, Bernstein or Bernstein. It was one of those. And then it's if Bernstein, you look it's back, but it, it's Bernstein, Bernstein because they're Jewish. Yes, but it's both with an A. <laughs> yeah, it's with an A. It's like a silent A. <laughs> I, I never understood it because we always call it the Bernstein I Bears, but it's spelled it with an A for some thing. reason. That's that Mandela bullshit. Oh, yeah, the Mandela <laughs> effect. That's what it is. Yeah. Mandela? <laughs> I think it's Mandela. Or, like or Nelson? Nelson Mandela? Oh, no, no, Mandela. Mandela. <laughs> Mandela. You mean Dr. Strange and Dr. Mandela? <laughs> Mandela. Nope. Pretty sure Mandala. Um, so, Jordan, did you enjoy the video game trailers from the weekend? Uh, I did, actually. I, uh, granted, granted, uh, the Gotham Knights trailer looked cool. Uh, it's interesting the direction that they're taking that. Um, it looks like a better Avengers game. <laughs> but you play as two characters instead of uh, uh, four. Arkham City with co-op. So, yeah, that's basically what it is. But it's not in the Arkham universe. It is. How not, is it yeah. not though? Like it looks so much like it is. It, so and, and, that, and that's the weird thing. So it looks like it's in the Arkham universe, but it's not because a uh, uh, Barbara Gordon can walk again. <laughs> so well, she, she did in the comic too. But she she was straight up Oracle in uh, Arkham City and yeah. Night. And, so it's like, and she married Tim Drake at the end of that game, and this is clearly Damian Wayne. Well, no, I'm pretty there. sure that's Tim Drake. I'm pretty sure that's Tim Drake. Uh, oh, oh, Tim Drake, Tim Drake. Fuck me. Wow, I am bad. I don't tonight. know, man. I yeah, no, I I I I wouldn't say there's enough that really makes me confident. It's one or another. It could be Tim Drake or it could be Damian Wayne. It I, looks like Damian Wayne, yeah. but the, some of the things like when he was in front of like his whole computer lab thing, that's a very Tim Drake thing about it. Yeah, um, but I don't feel like they really have sold me one or the other. Well, it's okay. That one we can find out next year. It's a Suicide Squad. Fuck that 2022 bullshit. <laughs> Why show me a trailer? I haven't watched it yet. I, we, I we can't make movies, YouTube, man. But... What? We can't be making movies in the quarantine. Oh no the the game the Suicide Squad the game oh, Suicide Squad killed the Justice League. Fuck oh, me! Yeah. I missed this. I already saw the movie trailer. No, the movie tra- that movie's been that movie's done. Is it done? Done? Yeah, that, it's right done. On. They're it's in post. On that. On that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right on. Uh, uh, but yeah, so the, there's a new Rocksteady game. The people who originally made the Arkham games, uh, they're making a Suicide Squad game called Suicide Squad: Kill the Justice League. Oh. Uh, oh, you so, you'd love that trailer. You should check it out later. Yeah, I, th- I think <laughs> you really it's would. It's pretty fucking good. <laughs> okay, yeah, I, I see. I see it on my list of fandom stuff here. I'll watch it later. But that game is set in the universe of the bat, the Arkham yes, games. That is so set in the Arkham it's universe. Really weird. And yeah. and the even That's weirder annoying, part but... is Harley Harley says uh, during the the fan doom uh, uh, thing she says ha huh, I could see the the headlines now Harley Quinn kills the bat I'm like but he dies at the end Arkham Knight <laughs> so it's like uh... <laughs> did he <laughs> the Batman never yeah. dies yeah yeah it's just just like in the Gotham Knights, except I'm in dead. the beginning He's of Arkham of Gotham Knights <laughs> it's like. 
I am dead. No, you're infiltrating the Court of Owls, aren't you? <laughs> I am so oh, in for, for that. Sure. <laughs> uh, uh, but okay. yeah, so th- there's no actual gameplay for the Suicide Squad game. It's just a, a CGI trailer. And it looks great. It looks great. It's 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 a nice tone piece for what the game is going to be like, apparently. Mm-hmm. Um, but I have no opinions on it because it, it, it doesn't exist yet. So Hopefully it will probably be better than the Avengers game because... Um, well, everything's okay, better than let that. It, let, let it go. Let it go. There's so many other things to bitch about right now than that. But the, the Avengers game could have been so much better, in my opinion. I just feel like they they were dropping the ball on it because it's fucking Avengers. Did you see that uh, Colin Farrell? Yeah. Oh my god, unrecognizable. Uh, we paused it on the big screen and tried <laughs> to identify where the prosthetics start and stop. Like we were just like, okay, he's like, those are his nose, but it's not his nostrils. We were like, those are his brows, but this is not, and it's all fat and <laughs> it was so weird. Was, what what, what, what like, if he went straight method and just got real fat? <laughs> good for him. Uh, I mean, but that didn't look like fat Colin Farrell. It just <laughs> no. looked like the penguin. It looked like it, it did look like someone pie himself. himself. I like that uh, Zoe Kravitz had little little cat ears. Yeah, just cute. just enough where you were like, "All right, that's Catwoman," but you yeah. don't need to slap me over the head with it. Yeah, that's a nice touch. And uh, and I read uh, so the Batman the movie. It's going to be a year two story. So. That's it's, cool. It seems it seems about rightish. The what? Like it, it's it's like a year or two. Like it's yeah, year two. Just yeah. established enough, but still like low tech. But, yeah. Well, did you listen? So Matt Reeves, when the Matt Reeves director was talking, yeah. and Aisha Tyler was like, "Oh, what inspiration are you pulling from?" He goes, "Oh, I read a lot of uh, Darwin Cook's Batman Ego." Well, Jesus Christ, can you guess what I got a hundred thousand phone calls for the next fucking day? Oh, Christ on a cracker. It was just, I was like, bitches, I don't have it. I got it on order. You got to wait. Yeah. So, yeah. So since that movie is year two, apparently the Matt Reeves uh, HBO Batman show is going to be year one. Yeah, I didn't even know they were doing a TV show until that announcement. I was like, yeah. what? All I'm, right, lo- that's I'm looking cool. forward to that. Is is the redemption of Robert Pattinson? <laughs> Do you he need a redemption? No, he's redeemed himself so many times over, but people are so hung up on Twilight. So, like, oh, I I want to okay, watch him I text, in Tenant. I I texted Anthony this. He didn't respond, but I I'll tell you guys and because I think you and Steph might get a kick out of it. So I had a guy call me on the phone at the store, and he was like, "Hey, can I ask you a question?" And he went off he was oh, like God. hey if you're batman or no he goes if you're a criminal if you're like you know a rapist a thug or a drug dealer or a drug runner or a murderer i was like uh-huh and he goes and batman drops down in front of you and it's robert fucking Pattison. would you be scared and i was about to answer and he cuts me off he goes they're ruining the institution of our comics he goes did you know that shack was cast as wolverine what is this shackerine what the fuck is this world we're living with and i hung up on him after that but that man gave us the word shackerine and i have worked that into many conversations this weekend jesus christ shackerine mm-hmm. wow yeah uh yeah, people are just way too hung up on on uh, uh, on Twilight because Robert Pattinson's a fantastic actor. I was watching Water for Elephants. Don't ask me why. I was watching Water for Elephants, and he was pretty good in that movie. Never seen. He's it. done a lot of indie stuff like that has earned him a lot of credibility. Yeah, but because it's not mainstream, it's kind of like Twilight's the last thing they remember of him. He's going to be in Tenant, a Christopher Nolan. Oh, I'm really movie. excited like, about that and one. And after Tenant. They'll probably change their tune. Okay. They haven't seen Tenet yet. So, so okay, Tenet, made by, fuck yes. off. Yes. So, David Tennant. Okay, so, um, you know how uh, <laughs> Dickless was going on and on about how, like, I don't care about the COVID. My movie's going to open in July, come hell or high water. I don't fucking care. And yeah. then I was, and then people were like, um, you don't own the movie. Warner Brothers does. And they'll make the decision when it's released. And he was like, whatever. Oh, and he got all butthurt about it. Yeah. So people have seen it and the reviews are starting to come in. And I read one the other day that made me laugh out loud because it was like, after all this bluster about making people. People have to go see to the theater. 
you can wait and not see it in a theater because it's awful. (laughs) I was like, yes! (laughs) That makes me sad for John David Washington. Sure, but it makes me very happy for that asshole. Yeah. (laughs) I mean, I would still watch it no matter what. I think I would... I, would still I mean, yeah, it. you got some time travel shit. That usually is a pretty solid in for me. Hey, I'm not going to go to theaters because, like, I'm not going to theaters. Yeah, I'm not going hey, to Hey, did theater. you know yeah. that a new Mutants movie opens on Friday? It's this Friday? Yeah. <laughs> this Friday. It's this Friday. Holy in theaters. In they theaters. have not backed down. Go to Rest a drive-in. In which is crazy. Mm, nope. I could go to a drive-in, but like yeah. honestly, a drive-in experience isn't great. We don't have good drive-ins down here. No, but I mean, yeah. but if you get to see your movie, R.I.P. M- uh, new I'm mutants. pretty sure within within two to three weeks it'll be uh, on demand. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. They're, they're gonna see the 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 just the catastrophic box offer, office yeah. numbers. Like, yeah, let's just put it out digitally. Yeah. Quick, yeah. while people still kind of know it, it, it is happening again. Yeah. Well, I was having a conversation a the movie. other night with the housemates, and we were all discussing the Mulan situation. Yeah. And mm-hmm. and I was like, you know what? It's ten dollars more than I'm willing to pay. Thirty. A thirty is too much. Really? But yeah. But I, if well, everyone puts in, for but it, but then... you don't own it. You only own it as long as you have Disney Plus. The moment mm-hmm. you cancel your Disney Plus, it disappears. Yeah. Same with like any other streaming thing that you buy. Once yep. you get rid of the app, then it's it's gone. Right, but I'm just saying, I don't feel that thirty dollars. I'm already paying you. I should get it at a discounted rate. Someone who doesn't have Disney Plus who buys it on VOD, yeah, their motherfucking ass should pay thirty dollars. I mm. should pay nineteen. Oh, I see what you mean. I'm okay. already giving. So you're not you asking that. for it free. No, I'll, hey, I'll be gladly it's to give just, you twenty yeah. dollars. Like Bill and Ted's only asking Christmas, twenty dollars, they're gonna get my twenty bucks. I think at Christmas it'll go down to fifteen. Sure, and, and then I'll yeah. gladly give them fifteen dollars yeah. at Christmas. But thirty is just too much because thirty is what you would pri- pay for the DVD, and I That's, get to hold that. You know, yeah. the, I get that. This, this, that this, is how, this is how I see it. Um, so yeah, th- so. Buying the movie is thirty bucks on top of the Disney Plus, however much you pay for that. Five, five, yeah, five bucks. Um, Disney Plus uh, is only five dollars. It's if you don't go through Hulu. Okay. Yeah, because I, I go through the Hulu thing that comes with uh, ESPN and yeah. Hulu and Disney Plus. But anyway, so this is uh, this is how I see it. If the thirty dollars is too much of an ask for Mulan, uh, just don't watch the movie. That's it. <laughs> Well, no, I'm just saying. Well, like, it's, it's like the same as going to a theater. You're just not going to a theater. And like, all right, then just wait till it comes out whenever. Yeah, I mean, if like, you weren't going to a theater, then it's kind of all moot anyway. Yeah. You're going to wait to to see it. You're going to wait three months or so to see it anyway. Yeah. And yeah, but the three argument months or so, that it's said, probably going to be cheaper. Yeah, but the argument that, oh, it's the same price as you would pay for a theater movie. Well, no, it's not. Because I go to matinees and I would only pay like ten dollars. Okay, yeah. well they're not but talking that, that, about yeah, you. That, that's a matinee. No, but like, I'm just saying. But there are like, cheaper movies, yeah. Yeah. ways to do it. So it. But most people are going to go see it for like that fifteen dollar, you know, ticket charge. That's well, then the average fools. price. And, and, and the and I, I understand why. Like I, I Lily and I totally understand where you're coming from. Um, devil's advocate. I understand why it's the thirty bucks because say I buy the I buy Mulan. So then I can watch this movie. My brother can then watch this movie. Steph, who has access to my Hulu, to my Disney Plus account, can also watch this movie. My parents who have access to my Disney Plus account can also watch mm-hmm. the movie. The, already there, if we all decide to go to a movie theater, they would make more, way more money. But since yeah, it's only like 30 bucks and it's digital, each. that's yeah. as much as they're going to get. Sure. But I don't, I'm not sharing money with anybody. That's also Yeah. Which, 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 <laughs> which, which, which is, which is the difference. Yeah. yeah, that's yeah. fair. So it's like for the people who aren't sharing, they're at the disadvantage here. For the people who do yeah. share, to yeah, because yeah, like I'm I'm sharing mine with two other households, yes, at least two other. So that you know you, of, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I can see it. it there's two other accounts that uh, that are on my pro on, on my account. Yeah, on my account, I, I'm not saying accounts. I wouldn't pay for it. I'm just saying I think thirty's too much. Twenty yeah. would have been an appropriate. Twenty bucks wouldn't even have this conversation. Yeah. 
Yeah, okay. no, that's fair. No, okay. again, again, I totally understand where you're coming from. It's kind of yeah. like when you $20... go to a restaurant and the burger's nineteen dollars. You're like, ooh, fifteen. I would have had that burger. Yeah. Why am I giving you five more dollars? What am I because getting? the next table is buying it for for twenty and sharing it with three other people? But how good that burger though? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm actually yeah. Talking is this a Gordon Ramsay though. burger? Because that twenty seems you know appropriate. Yeah, what if this is a Gordon Ramsay movie? <laughs> you mean Mulan just yells fuck a lot and yells at children? <laughs> oh, I'd pay $30 for that. Well, he does maybe. not yell at children, sir. He is very he kind not. to them. <laughs> he just makes them cry, right? No, he does not. Oh. He doesn't. He's no, very if you ever watch Ma- MasterChef Children, like, he is very supportive of these kids. Oh. So he just them. yells at the, uh, the adults. Just adults. Yes, oh, God. <laughs> at the adults who yeah. should be able to take it because you're an adult. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Um, I did watch some, I rewatched and watched, uh, the live action, like, Disney movie remakes this past weekend. Yes, so you did. So I rewatched Beauty and the Beast, which was still fine. And then I watched Aladdin, and I enjoyed it. It's not bad. I enjoyed it. I haven't watched any of those. I actually really yeah, like the guy who plays Aladdin. I feel like... He Fuck fit. that! It was all it? about it was all about Jafar. <laughs> I didn't care about him. Oh, girl! He had a whiny voice. I was more I was more attracted to Aladdin than I was Jafar. I got a, I got a text from my friend Adrian after she watched it, and she said all she wrote was Jafar dot 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 flooded my basement. Oh my God. <laughs> Yeah, no. I... But he was he was the he was one of the gay guys in um, Old Guard. Oh, is that the one oh, with huh. uh... Charlie? Charlie's Theron. I still need to watch it. I haven't watched it. That yet. movie's good. That, movie that, is, that is a good, good movie. That is a good movie. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I really dug it. It's on my list for sure. Still Speaking of good it. movies, Jordan, Jordan, yes, sir, talking to you, but my, my 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 buddy. Death of the Nile. Death of the Nile. Yeah. Son. Oh, oh yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh man, I'm so excited. <laughs> I it was supposed to be yet. next year, November. Yeah. And it got switched to October, and I was like, God damn it, I ain't going to see that shit in a theater. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I was so excited I had my brother watch Knives Out this weekend. <laughs> and he liked it. Knives Out was really oh. good. Oh, Gal Gadot looks so good. That woman mm. is so beautiful. Mm. As Anthony yawns more for this topic. I just, no. He just doesn't like good things, all right? <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's Sorry, all. I'm, we... not over, I'm not over here stroking Pavwa. What? Pavwa. <laughs> Pavwa. <Pavlo. laughs> like y'all. Pavwa. Uh, although I'm not a huge fan of his new mustache. <laughs> what, the double Did on top of double? Did it change from the last movie? <laughs> it looks shorter. Yeah. You can tell it's, it's a lot yes. shorter. These two can tell. It's These a two lot, can tell. It's a lot hotter in Egypt than it is in the snowy uh, Orient. <laughs> you got to let that face breathe. Death by the Nile. Death on the Nile. Okay. Get it right. <laughs> I watched the original trailer from the 70s movie and was yeah. floored at how many like Oscar winners are in it. I was like, oh, damn, I got to check that shit out, too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, nah. that was it. Me and Jordan have had our old man <laughs> corner, so <laughs> I guess. Not understand why um, you guys. Nah, how'd you like the that obvious? No, that is. <laughs> it is so me? obvious. It's very obvious. <laughs> What's the difference between the other one? It's shorter. Hold on, Sorry. the other one is called um, Orient Express, right? Orient Express. Murder on the Orient Murder Express. Murder on the Orient Express, or as I call it, Murder on the O Train. <laughs> <laughs> Murder. Anthony did not like that. His no. lips pursed up. He gave me duck face. I'm up suddenly. I am. I am literally thinking about editing that out right now. <laughs> you, you wrote a note just so it's not there. Yeah. Anthony, did you check out that video I sent this morning of the seal? Um, the seal. The seal. I watched it. Of course, you watched it. You're a good person. <laughs> I'm, I'm a. I'm a. I'm a okay person. Anthony, you like seals. <laughs> Did I not respond to it? No. No. I, I think Sigoni Beaver took over the thread right away. <laughs> it's, 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 <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Kevin Hart is Usain Bolt. Sigoni oh, Beaver. That's why. Oh, I, yeah. I missed the Kevin Hart thing. 
Yes. <laughs> yeah, so NBC News uh, reported that Usain Bolt, uh, Fastest Man Alive, uh, has uh, contracted the coronavirus. But in the picture, they put Kevin Hart. Oh. How? How? Yeah. I mean, I guess, you know, Kevin's very happy that they confused him with a six-foot-tall man. But, you know, whatever. <laughs> yeah. That's How? cute. Is some more your TikTok nonsense? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, it is. It's cute. <laughs> But it's a seal. It's I a love seal. But it's a seal. And the seal does it. <laughs> Listen, so come back cute. to me when you got some penguins dancing. I will find those for you. <laughs> All right. Find me some penguin TikToks. Also, I'm excited you'll get some for, reactions out of me. Uh, I was really happy when I watched the Enola Holmes trailer. Uh, yes. Oh, yeah. I have not watched that either. With my best friend? Yeah. <laughs> Are you talking oh. about Helena? He's talking about Henry Cavill. My oh. best friend, Henry Cavill? <laughs> yeah, BFFs. He plays Sherlock Holmes. Oh, my God. When, Such a weird casting. When is he going to be Bond for just an offshoot? You know, just once. Come on. <laughs> oh, I think he's too pretty for Bond. <laughs> he's so pretty. Like, too like, pretty for Bond? He's too pretty for Bond. Bond's got to be a little rugged. Like, yeah. You know? I mean, he, the per- he had some ru- he had some rugged he had some rough edges in uh, Mission Impossible. Oh, Mission Impossible. with that mustache, fuck yeah! Yeah, uh, oh, I wish yeah. They- you, you could rugged him up. Listen, That's he was true. fucking covered in dirt for an entire season of Witcher. Is there any way? Is there any way that he Stop. survived Stop. In, in Mission Impossible? <laughs> he's, he's a great what? villain. <laughs> hmm. I for- I forget his death in that movie. You forgot how Henry Cavill dies in Mission Impossible, where he gets I hooked did, on the yeah, face by a helicopter kind of and to me. falls into a fiery explosion. Oh uh, yeah, he probably did. I don't remember that. <laughs> but he might I, come back like super scarred with a bunch of like prosthetics and shit. Yeah, no, that man is dead. He yeah, got like a yeah, fucking robot dead. arm. <laughs> no, my favorite thing is when we were watching BVS and Anthony leans over because Henry Cavill took off his shirt and Anthony leans over and goes, he's built like a goddamn Ed McGinnis drawing. <laughs> it's like, I was like, he is. That man Heart is muscle on top of muscle. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, he, he, I mean, he still he still retained it pretty well, but yeah. I mean, the, the peak is Man of Steel, that fucking insane body mm-hmm. that he's got. Oh, yeah. I mean, Jesus Christ, the man during quarantine has been jogging and baking bread oh, and I building a computer <laughs> yeah, building computers oh yeah just a fucking thirst trap yeah i'll do C- cody is thirsting after him so hard in the pcp chat <laughs> like, <laughs> who is uh, my my buddy cody <laughs> oh and i'm like i understand <laughs> you know like <laughs> <I get it. laughs> huh Say, uh, and this is pretty impossible, but say that uh, the DCU, like the DCEU uh, goes on. What does the E do, stand for? Extended. Um, extended. Oh, no, thank like you. Like the, the movies or the DCC, whatever they call it. Fuck it. The movies. DCEU, yeah. Uh, say those manage to keep their continuity long enough where they kind of dabble at that Wonder Woman Superman relationship? No. You think those two look like they could be a couple? No. no Batman Superman. Uh, Batman. Well, and yes, Wonder that one. Well, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Batman and Superman. Yes. Sorry. Batman, that relationship. 100%. Batman Ship it. and Wonder Woman has always been my thing. Cuz it, it makes more sense. Yeah. Like sublim sub, subliminally like uh, for everything beneath the surface, it makes more sense for yeah. them to. Yeah. But, like, you just get the two most powerful beings of their gender, just about. Yeah. And you just push their genitals together. Like, <laughs> uh, that's, I, pr- that's pretty much all that relationship is. I, I, I just love the... Insane sex. I, I just love the, the Batman-Wonder Woman uh, chemistry in the Justice League cartoon. Because, oh, yeah, it was wonderful. Yeah, for sure. I mean, but you're also like um, you're forgetting one thing, uh, Lois Lane. Yeah, I, yes, I'm <laughs> more like I'm Lois Lame. <laughs> you leave but, like, Lois Lane alone. <laughs> but there, there have been several stories and times where, like, they've kind of. 
flirted or full on gone with Wonder Woman and Superman being in a relationship. Yes, I know. Yeah, so I'm I'm not forgetting about Lois Lane. I'm just pointing out some other shit and just pic- getting everyone to picture Henry Cavill and Gal Gadot like in a relationship, like a, a couple together. They would have beautiful Israeli children. Yeah, with the British accent somehow. Oh yeah. I kind of feel like those are two really two two people that people are so that hot. Have ugly yeah, kids. <laughs> Yeah, it backfires in the children. They get the worst of both of both sides. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you mean like Brad and Angelina? I have is, not is seen little, their children. Uh, Shiloh or whatever their kid is, is, are they not a cute kid? I think Shiloh's a cute kid. Yeah. The, the has, one that they didn't adopt? She has a... Um, the one that's Angelina a girl Jolie's that will, like... It, it's got that little... Lips. Yeah. Is it a was it a girl that's that thinks it's a boy? Is that well well he feels he's a boy? I don't remember. Yeah. I don't pay attention to it. Oh. I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know. I think that's right. Oh no. Guy Ritchie the other day posted a picture of him and his son and he was like, Happy birthday, my twenty year old son and I was like, Oh Jesus Christ, I'm old. I remember <laughs> when that little bitch was born. <laughs> Just you know, let's go check up on the on the Michael Jackson kids and really kind of Ooh, feel a, a, a time warp happen. Oh, I think boy. for the Guy Ritchie thing, it's weirder to me though because it's Madonna's kid, and that's what's weird. Like he oh, had Madonna's a, out there trying he to have had a sex blip. With people <laughs> her kids' age, like he. Oh yeah, he had like a weird blip in his career where he was just like, oh yeah, remember that time I married Madonna? <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> granted. Like, huh. Oh yeah, <laughs> that happened. So like up. after Snatch, but before Sherlock. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I love Snatch. It's, it's a good movies. game. Yeah, we all do. Uh, God damn well, it! Most of us do. <laughs> what? God damn it! <laughs> Dad loves chasing beaver. All right, so we <laughs> want to play the game. Yeah. We can play the game. Um, I just saw a picture of what uh, Michael Jackson's kids look like now. Paris is beautiful. All right. Yeah, her name is Paris. Still hanging out. uh, Still hanging out at fifty-eight topics. Let's see what we got. Siri, please give me a number between one and fifty-eight. Forty-seven. Ooh, okay. Hitman. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> I read this wrong and got real confused. If you could be part animal, what part and what animal? I initially read it. If you could be part of an animal, <laughs> <laughs> that's and that one. I like, want to no. be the right that can't leg be right. of some. <laughs> Let's do both questions. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be a kitten's nose. <laughs> They're done. I want to be I, an elephant's trunk. Dang it. Dang it. That was going to be my answer. <laughs> well, we both can say it. Like, I'll, I'll be. Yeah, the, you both can have the same I'll, one. I'll, you know what? I'll be a platypus's weird, stingy tail. <laughs> All right, Anthony, do you want to be part cat? <laughs> Um, I mean, it's a pretty easy go-to. I definitely would not be upset. I'm trying to think if there's maybe something better uh, out there. Um, but I could I could definitely Wait. Uh, fall back on being part cat. So Okay, so we're part of an animal. We have part of an animal, right? Yeah. So, Steph, this is, this is yours, right? No, I did this one. Oh, did you? All right. So are we talking like centaur, satyr kind of like part, part? Or- Whatever you think. Or do we have like okay. attributes of these animals? Yeah, if you just yeah, want to like have like cheetah, if you just want to like have pan, if if you just want to have like cat eyes, cool. Okay, I want I otter want... eyes. Or otter <laughs> eyes. I otter eyes. Otters have otters eyes. have otters have normal looking eyes though. I know, yeah. but they're so cute because they're big and black, and then they're like so cute. So you, you just want big eyes, is what you're telling us? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Steph wants anime eyes. Oh, there That's you go. Yeah. He's not li- an animal. You literally want to be Chico Fujiwara. All right. Got it. Gotcha. 
Uh, then I, w- I will go Frog because I could be closer to the best girl, Froppy, from My Hero Academia. Best girl? Yes, best girl is Asui. Mm. Yeah, in your fucking face. She's best girl. <laughs> I mean, I don't think you're going to find many people fighting you uh, for her, so oh, you I think have at it. plenty of people will fight go me crazy. for her. She's best girl. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony, you want those goat eyes? No. God, no. <laughs> Who do you still, think is best still, girl? Uraraka? I don't know their name. The gravity girl? No, not her. She's she's fucking milk toast. The creation girl who wears next yes. to nothing? Yes. <laughs> good, that or, really cool or the, do, or, or the uh, dominatrix principal oh, girl. Oh, yes. Steph, uh, you would look so Lady weird Midnight. if you just had two black dots as eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, well, an otter face? I don't know. Because I, I don't like their feet. I will admit, I don't like how otters' feet look like. They look really, okay. like, puffy, but I think otters are adorable. Well, that's I the like weather. their tails. <laughs> their otter tails look I like feel, dog tails. I feel to really make the eyes work, though, like, you need the whole face. Yeah. Can yeah. I just have an otter face? Sure. I mean, you sure. An otter face. You'll be a person of the Bojack Horseman universe. Oh, that's weird be otterly adorable i want otter uh, i show follow, myself out i follow some tiktok otters they're adorable oh, <laughs> i should out do here, that not the same otters out here in otter tiktok That's <laughs> so- no no otter i TikTok's mean the really an- blown I, up i mean the animals okay <laughs> yeah but i also do the other one as well um <laughs> Oh no! I probably do like a wolf or a crocodile. But like, what parts of them? Mm. Also, crocodile, really? Yeah, I like crocodiles. What's on a crocodile that you really like? The death spiral to have the uh, the death spiral. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, so just like insanely strong core muscles. Yeah, the uh, core muscles, uh, reptilian skin, sharp teeth, the eyes, the the, the biting you just power. Killer croc. And that seems yeah, like a bad I, time. But I don't want to be a killer croc. Yeah, yeah. So I guess a wolf would be cool. All right, you like maiming croc. Ooh, how about just snake eyes? And I can, like, change my... Uh, I can shed like my ninja? skin. the <laughs> ninja? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> or, or, or I can just be King Shark. But, like, Ron Funches <laughs> is King Shark. Oh, fuck yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. he's the best King yeah. Shark yeah. of oh, all time. Oh, man. I, I like how much King Shark stuff there is happening now. You have Harley mm-hmm. Quinn, you have the Suicide Squad game and the Suicide Squad movie. And I'm pretty sure a King Shark is going to be voiced by Taika Waititi. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that makes sense. Because he, he's so, listed in the cast, but they didn't show yeah. him who. Like, I'm pretty that's sure. The, that's the best. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm that's kind of that. shitty for Steve Agee, though. <laughs> <It's> like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just I felt bad. I was like, oh. I mean, yes. The next but, time he's in the store, I'll ask him. Yes, do that. But like, if if I was to make the choice between Steve Agee or, or Taika Waititi, oh for sure, I would pick, I would pick Taika Waititi. Yeah, like, yeah, I, no, I I get it. Ugh. I'm sorry because he's a funny, like seemingly good dude. But yeah. <laughs> I'm or, gonna go with the best fit. I liked. I don't know who's doing the voice of him in the Suicide Squad game, but I liked when he was just like, "Look, it is Superman, the mighty Superman." You, you ready for this one? <laughs> oh, who is it? Samoa Joe. What? Shut the <laughs> fuck up. Fuck you. Really? Yes. Fuck yes, yeah, Samoa Joe. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that, that explains is... all the um, tattoo stuff on him, huh? Because he's got all that like Asian-inspired tattoo art and shit on his arms. I haven't finished watching the trailer yet. But yes, Samoa Joe is King Shark. <laughs> that is awesome. That squad game. Look, it is Superman, the mighty hero Superman. <laughs> He was like the mighty Superman. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and unfortunately, awesome. it's still Terra Strong because it's awful. So, that's uh, Harley. I mean, I mean, she is the most popular Harley voice, which is beyond me. Yeah. <laughs> um. So I just because she voiced the character like, for so long, so. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I mean, a wolf would be cool. Get, like, canine, sharp canines. Got cool eyes. I can run real fast. I can howl at the moon. So you're you're also fine with, like, just pretty, like, going full, like, werewolf. 
Like if you're yeah, if you're if you're down for going with um, maiming Croc, then you're fine with just kind of being like really disfigured from compared to a, a, a standard human body. I, I guess. I like rabbit ears. Is it? Steph wants rabbit ears. What she think would be worse, me be being a werewolf girl. or her being a fucking just a human with rabbit ears? Yeah, rabbit one of these two is freaky. <laughs> or, or wait, like um, wait, wait, Hawker Steph, spaniel the, ears. Wait, Steph, would the ears go like where your actual ears are, or would they be on top of your head? They would flop. They would be on the side. She'd have flopping. otter eyes and rabbit ears, and you think I'm the scary one in this situation? <laughs> yeah, so you, you guys at least I doing... picked one animal. Yes, yeah, that's true. <laughs> So you guys aren't thinking about this because I'm a frog, so I have powerful legs, I have a really long tongue, I, can, I secrete mucus. Oh, gross. But do you have the big frog eyes? I don't see eyes? any difference. Do you have the big frog eyes? <laughs> Not, I don't want them. Not if I don't want them. Anthony, question. If you're part cat, yes, do you start lounging around and doing, like, you you lick your thigh seductively, like you lift your leg up like like cats do? <laughs> so flexible. <laughs> Why would I stop? <laughs> that was the correct answer. You, you, you do that weird thing where you're like sitting up, but you're licking your stomach. <laughs> now, now my cat he was... Domino, my cat Domino, like more than any other cat, just will just sit with his fucking spread eagle legs, sit up, and just like curl himself over with his fat fucking belly, just so exposed. I've never had a cat just present himself so audaci- uh, audaciously uh, like like he has sitting around no. like a like a like a 45 year old man in the, in the kiddie pool <laughs> <laughs> like i like how you imagine larry flint to always be oh god <laughs> oh good reference. slightly in greasy. that position but he's still an adorable little you know tuxedo cat <laughs> um now, Anthony, as a part yes, cat, sir. which is not your answer, but we're going to go with the joke because you haven't come up with an answer yet. Do yeah. you, as a humanoid cat, anamorphic furry, do you decide that you um, still shit in a toilet or do you go full kitty? <laughs> uh, I would shit in a toilet. Like, I would, I would just kind of tuck my tail around uh, and, and use a toilet. It's, it's way more sanitary. <laughs> but, but when he's done, he still kicks his feet back. <laughs> Oh yeah, no, I do, I do. Listen, I have a toilet, and then I have a litter box around it. Yes, because yeah. I'm, like, I'm like still a moat? standing up to pee. Uh. It's a, a litter, a, a litter box moat. Because I'm still standing to pee, so if it splashes out, it'll just mm-hmm. get you know absorbed by the litter. What? Speaking of, yeah. She she uh, is arguing with how that. Well, do you have other them. animals that you enjoy? Um, I mean, I, I think it'd be cool. A penguin would definitely be very cool. Um, it, it doesn't seem like penguin attributes themselves don't seem to be super beneficial. Do you just want to be? Do you just want to have a black and white complexion? <laughs> don't I? <laughs> Look at me right now. <laughs> Am I not just black and white right now? <laughs> My colorblind isn't that bad. Uh <laughs> Um like a raven would be cool. Ooh. Oh. Like your uh, hair is part feathers and everyone would just quote you. Yeah. <laughs> Very quotable. Uh but like if if I was like if I was to go to the whole wing room literature major ladies and gentlemen <laughs> degree degree fucking degree in literature never um, read a fucking book <laughs> but if I if I went with with wings I wouldn't want like them to stem off my arm I've never been a fan of that oh look no that's outside stupid of, like yeah. harpies and like kind of like clearly monsters um, no you want like Lucifer if, if, wings. Yeah, I mean, you want traditional and angelic wings, but they'd be black, like the mm. night. Mm, yes, I am vengeance. But then I'd have hollow bones. <laughs> <laughs> I'd, be, I'd, be, I'd break real easy. I'm pretty sure Lucifer doesn't have hollow bones. He's he's also not a bird person. Yes, Dan Harmon is a bird person. I love bird person so much. 
New season still not on HBO Max. Which is insanity. Yeah. I just realized that the the latest season of Doctor Who isn't on there either. I'm a whole season behind. Oh, I, I well, need, so I, are they because of COVID. Out, so. No. Yeah. The, Ooh, watch the, the ones wire. that they've already aired. I know. I still need to start that. I haven't started that. Oh, yet. I need I need to watch season five of Luther. Oh, God. I'm two episodes in. It's pretty good so far. I forgot about that entirely. There's a lot of shows I need to watch. I haven't started Lucifer. I haven't started Luther. I haven't started Better Call Saul again. I have. I started, started watching it. Avatar, The Last Airbender. <gasps> I gotta say, in the, in the in the first few episodes, I fucking hate Sokka, but now he's starting to get better. <laughs> no, no, he grows on you. Yeah, yeah. Like he, like especially the episode from a girl. Like I, I, fu- I was like, this dude needs to leave right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, he becomes very, very good. Yeah, yeah. He's he's already That's getting right. better at this point. That's right. I had issues with Ta for the first couple episodes too. I was like, why would you want this little bitch to be with you? And then by the end of it, I was like, oh, I will die for her. <laughs> <laughs> also, he, uh, at this point, I'm like maybe 12 episodes in, and Aang has met at least 18 different Earthbenders and didn't ask a single one how to Earthbend. <laughs> well, he had to find the right one. I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> has um Has anyone else watched Lovecraft con- uh, Country? No, I I, I, no, I, need, I need to start I watching that. I need to start watching no, that. I don't have HBO. Two episodes. I haven't in, right? uh, watched the second episode yet. I think I'm gonna do that tonight after the podcast. That's cool. Um, I hear the, it's good though. Yeah, yeah. It was. It's but, yeah. very the first episode. Super cool. Um, I hope you really like the first. Was it ten minutes of Watchmen when, during the Tulsa raid? Yeah, um, because it's a lot of that energy. Oh shit! <laughs> yeah, a lot of racial tension going on. Lovecraft. Oh, good. I'm glad. I. Uh, I love the first ten minutes of Watchmen. Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember. Was it like the second episode? You know what I was like most upset about that is that I didn't know that happened. Yeah, that a lot of people. That was the first time that 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 really upset that. me. That I was like, this this is upsetting. Well, I mean, what's the, what's the phrase? The victors write history. Yeah, yeah. And and that that really pissed me off on a level of just like I was like, fuck everything. Like I just I'm can't assuming- understand. I'm Why? assuming you didn't know that there was an all black affluent neighborhood in what is now Central Park that was just wrecked and destroyed and, and everyone pushed out. When what was that in the in the movie? It's not in the it's not in the movie, but it happened. Well then I wouldn't have learned about it if it wasn't in Watchmen. Well, is I don't what know, maybe saying. like you heard you <laughs> maybe you heard about it. Uh, some, no, some other I, way. Wh- where from? Where history? No, it's, <laughs> that's my point. Like, they're not American history. Doesn't actually cover America history. Yep, and it that's, does not. It, it drives me nuts that I didn't know that because that seemed like something that should definitely be taught, and it really frustrated it, me. It's funny. We learn way more about European history than we do yes. about American history. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Seneca Village. No, I've never uh, heard what of it was called. Yeah, it's essentially like the same situation. Like okay. a bunch of like wealthy, affluent black people made a community, and then white people came in and fucking like burned it, wrecked it, and plowed it over, and it is now Central Park. I was. Por- do you guys know who? Park. Do you guys know who Amber Ruffin is? Um, no, I don't think she's. So. Um, She's she's a writer on Seth Meyers. She's known for being the youngest black female writer in late night. And she's mm-hmm. getting her own show on the Peacock Network. And she's hilarious. Like, she's one of my favorite people. I love to, like, follow her and stuff. And she's so funny. And she's so, like, smart when it comes to, like, humor with, uh, you know, giving you the dose of... Um, information about racial racial things but with humor like yeah. you know like some people are, yeah like she's like really like dave Chappelle, where you're like you're learning something you're laughing but you're also like damn she's right you know it's one of those kind of things okay. yeah and she was on nicole byers podcast over the weekend and she told a story and they were both laughing and i was laughing so hard that she said people just tell her shit because she lives in new york and she's like she goes look i don't she goes i'm a black woman 
I just sat down waiting for the L train. I'm just sitting there. And she goes, and I sat next to this very regal, distinguished black gentleman who was very old. And she goes, and we were just sitting there and he was reading the newspaper. And she said this big group of like frat white guys that came down and they were waiting for the train and they were being like all loud and obnoxious. And he said, she said, (laughs) the old dude like looks at her. Looks at them, folds up his newspaper, puts it in his jacket, and then he goes, oh, I better put this away. I don't want mouse to know and we know how to read. And gets up and walks (laughs) away. And she said she did not know how to take that. And she was like, well, thank you, sir. I don't know you. Why would you say this to me? She said she sat there and laughed for 40 fucking minutes. And and she was like, (laughs) people say shit like to to me all the time. So she's writing a book called You'll Never Guess What I Just Heard. Oh, that's funny. Dot, dot, dot. That's really funny. The new shit my dad says. Yeah, it's kind of, and she says it's it's based on her and her sister. Um, Her sister lives in like South Dakota or some random like white state somewhere. And she said that it started off with the idea was that her sister went to the bank and she she handed a check over to the teller and she had like um black history month checks so it had harriet tubman on it and you know i love you Mm -hmm. my harriet tubman so i was all ears and she handed it over and she said the white teller and she goes oh that's so wonderful that you had yourself put on the checks and she was like no no no. she's like that that's harriet tubman and she was like who? Is that your? Uh, she was like, "Is that your auntie?" Like she's oh, like, "No, no." no it's, it's... She doubled down. <laughs> she needs to stop Holy talking. Shit. And she says, "Her." She goes, "My sister calls me every two days with a story." Like, girl, you'll never guess what happened. <laughs> <It's just> like, <laughs> I can't wait to buy this book, <laughs> like... dude. Wow, you need to get you need to get on her train. She is gonna be huge like very soon i mean i i have that podcast you mentioned just <laughs> queued up right now <laughs> i mean she does a segment on seth meyers called amber says what and it's all she'll be like donald trump said what and i was like what i was like girl what <laughs> it's very funny i enjoy her i i heart her incredibly she gives me a lot of tee hee hees like she's really good can I double back uh, just for a second uh, yeah. and then sidetrack from there? Uh, the Peacock. Awful fucking name, right? Yep. <laughs> Terrible name for a network. Uh, streaming service, yeah. But they are the Peacock. I get it. I know I know why you did it. <laughs> but, like, we couldn't take, like, one more shot at that. We well, couldn't sure round this table is the, that one more time. I'm pretty sure this is the one more round table shot. <laughs> you couldn't use something with Universal, you know. Yeah. I don't know. But like it's 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 launched now, it's 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 out there. Um I was actually uh I was talking to a friend of mine after D and D and she was telling me about um she stumbled across uh, the NBC website and they have a bunch of old shows that you can just watch for free because they got like commercials on them. Right. Um, and I went and I saw, oh yeah, the Peacock. That's NBC. I kind of forget the 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 alphabet soup that is the beginning of the cable run. Yeah, yeah. And which which are which? So, and I just couldn't help but think, like, God, the Peacock. Like, this is just fucking awful. Like, you could have gone <laughs> anything else. They could have called it the Dark Universe. It would have been better than Peacock. Sure. Sure. Did but at least now that... I can watch the Crow television series uh, oh, on the God. website now. So I got is that it going at, for me. Is it as good as I think it is? Uh, I watched the first, like, five minutes. And I'm like, ooh, yeah, that hits the sweet spot, baby. <laughs> uh, so <laughs> I'm going to say I'm just going to assume yes. The next next time we see Anthony, he's gonna have he's gonna black his eyes like Robert Pattinson in the Batman <laughs> trailer. Wait, like oh man, you are an actual fan of The Crow, right? Yeah, that's not just yes. a joke. Okay, he unironically no. loves The Crow. I say that I because he he, he I, really loves Part Three with Edward Furlong. Because oh. I saw <laughs> the most. Um, I was like looking at Perlers on Google and I scrolled one and it was the crow. 
And it was mm-hmm. like the eyes of the crow in a silhouette of a crow. And I was just like, oh, right dude, on. this is like a fucking Anthony thing. But I didn't know if it was just a joke that I like that, no, that there was no, an actual am, truth behind you being a fan. And that I it was am just earnestly, a earnestly a fan of, of the crow. I'm, I can still watch the first movie. I still enjoy it. It doesn't it, it feels slightly dated, but it's still it's still a good movie to me. Um, I've got a only, couple of only the books. slightly dated. I mean, <laughs> yeah, only slightly, honestly. <laughs> to me, it's only You're slightly like, dated. I'll show you because there was I've, I've got one, a couple of the graphic novels. Like another one. I've seen every Crow movie. I watched the Crow television series in the 90s. Mark Dacascus' big debut. And now he's fucking fighting uh, Keanu like, Reeves. I'm going to be real honest. I thought the Crow was just the one movie. Yeah, I thought it was just the <laughs> one movie too. There's four movies, I think. <laughs> yeah. One should season have, of a television show. It should show. have been the one movie. Yeah. Dude, that's the should first have been. one. What? <laughs> We don't have time for me to explain what The Crow is to you, so just believe me that they can do additional movies. There's a gang of different graphic novels of different stories. Um, so he's like Ghost Rider, where anybody could be the Ghost Rider as long as you're blessed by the spirit yeah. of vengeance. Yes. Again, Pretty who much. plays The Crow? Okay. Brandon Lee. Brandon Bruce Lee Lee's in the kid. first movie. Yeah, before he died. Oh, okay, okay. Yes. Well, yeah. when Obviously. he died. <laughs> well, when he died. Yeah, that's true. Not to be confused uh, with Jason Scott Lee, who played Mowgli. Yes, okay, that's uh, that's why. Before okay, he anyway. died, he died too. No, but his career did. Boom! <laughs> oh! Oh! Take us out, Leland. You earned it. <laughs> All right, we are the ridiculous league. <laughs> we Man, are the ri- we are don't the make league. me regret this. We are the League of Ridiculous Conversations, uh, and uh, where if you wanted to email us, Steph, where would you email us at? You can email us at lorcpodcast at gmail dot com. Anthony, if where are podcasts found? Podcasts are found on Apple Podcasts, on Stitcher, uh, on the Spotify apps, as well as pretty much every other podcast app whichever one you're listening to podcasts on including this one because how else did you get here uh you can subscribe to us that way and and leave a review i guess if you like to search for things on social media apps jordan what are our social media apps you can find us on twitter instagram and facebook just look for league of ridiculous conversations or lrc podcast and if you'd like to see stephanie's private stuff what where she <laughs> what? Where, <laughs> that sounded bad only no, fans dot com slash stephanoids <laughs> I was on a roll and then I realized halfway through it didn't sound, it didn't sound right <laughs> if you'd like to follow our personal social medias Stephanie also, where would they go no okay debatable <laughs> Steph give us your shit um, onlyfans dot com slash stephanoids <laughs> I haven't claimed that yet, but I should just claim it to claim it. Do you have to pay for OnlyFans just to have it? Um, I don't think so. I don't know, honestly. No, because you have to start an account if you want to look. We have to, yeah, because yeah, I, I, no. I think they... Yeah, you have I to think, start an account, but you don't have to pay. Yeah, I yeah, think yeah, the only... Saying, you don't have to pay. Yeah. I think okay. OnlyFans get paid by the donations. Yeah. yeah. Oh. A percentage of donations, I mean. Yeah. But I don't okay. think you have to pay to have an account to no, I don't believe receive so. those donations. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Um, I am uh, <laughs> Stephanoids on all the things. I finally switched over my Twitch to claim Stephanoids. So because you forgot the password to the other one. So yeah. So you no! find branding, Barry. I'm I'm <laughs> Stephanoids on all the things. We did it! Yay, Barry! Since you're a big fan of unified branding, Jordan. <laughs> uh, you can find me on most social media platforms at Jordan is a bear. And coming soon to OnlyFans. <laughs> OnlyFans.com slash Jordan is a bear. I will support Anthony. Uh, If you want to see my animalistic side, find me at Graphite Night on the Twitter and Spooky Spookington on the Instagram. And find my OnlyFans site where I'm doing all kinds of naughty things. OnlyFans.com backslash Graphite Night. Like cleaning? Watch me clean up my room. In, In like a little lingerie, little... Lacey number. Guys, I have an OnlyFans account. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we all have OnlyFans account. Quit bragging. 
<laughs> you, your little lacy laundry where your balls just hang out the bottom of it. Uh, both sides. So, both sides. <laughs> All right. Well, take <laughs> us out. So, oh, and you can find me at my art at Leland Pierce Art on Instagram and Facebook. And with September and October coming up, I'm going to start hitting it hard. So, yay. yay. All right. Okay. So, uh, I'm Leland. I'm Anthony. I'm Steph. I'm Jordan. <laughs> And we will talk to you next week for more bullshit. For No Swear September. No Swear September. Fuck. Shit. Goddamn.